An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Thanks for coming, uh, Sally right. and Chris. Nice to meet you, mate. It's a pleasure. What have we got here? We've got a couple of bronzes and a piece of wood and a, a travelling alarm clock. That's right. So first things first, you want the good news or bad news? Bad news. The bad news first. <coughs> that clock is worth two quid. I'll keep that there. <coughs> All right, you're lucky. <laughs> it sounds like it's busy on the phone over there. That's got a lot of sentimental value to oh, okay. Sally. So don't be rude to Sally then. <laughs> I'm just interested well, in you, where you see it what comes the problem, from. Problem here, can't you? Woodworm, isn't it? Oh, I, I don't want to sell it. No, no, it's, it's not worth there. anything, no, I'm not just interested in... I've got a my gut feeling it says it's from Russia. Um, okay. When? Well, probably a 1900, 1920s, that sort of thing. That's, yeah. that's but it's good. got that sort of like Russian, Eastern look about it, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, maybe Finland, that sort of thing. The, the wood's very sort of like light wood. It's but just, the value is just decorative. It's just been okay. in a family home for yeah. as long as I can remember. That's, thank you. That's well, we, worth knowing. That's worth knowing, isn't it? Mm. And then the pieces you've got here are a pair of bronzes, which are quite good. That's the good news, isn't it? The bronzes. Yes. Yeah. So where did these come from, the bronzes? They were given to father by a relation on the death of her aunt. And father passed them on to me. Oh, that's it, yeah. Before yeah. that, I had no yeah. idea. Are they sentimental in lots of ways, or you, you, you've got unattached to them now? Dust collectors now, or are they? Um, <laughs> Small sentimental value. But would you sell them? If the price was. Oh, okay. That's what I like to say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can do deals at the end That's what I like to say. They've yes. been packed away, apparently, not They've out of the way. Yeah, well, you obviously don't turn to appreciate them anymore, but they should belong to somebody who appreciates them, don't they? Really? Yes. You know. yes. The good thing about this, this charm and this sweet, they're fisher boys, people like that sort of stuff. This is What's a lizard, lizard charmer, this one. It's charm. okay. charming the lizards up the flutes. Oh, interesting. So, who's the artist we got here? Well, it says on the front, uh, Paul Laverne. And that's a French artist. He was working between 1860, 1870s, late 1870s. Okay. Got the idea there. Mm -hmm. And I think is maybe. It, is it, are they a pair? I don't I think, think so. I don't. I don't think they are a pair. Both by the same artist, now, are they? Exactly. Same artist. And what um, are they made of? I think it's a mix. I'll, I'll run this by you, but I think it's not. Brass. I think it's a mix of copper, brass, bronze. I might be right or wrong. And what do you think they're made of? I was hoping they're bronze. <laughs> Why would you they're bronze? They're fairly heavy. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. Mm. The way of these things, obviously, most of these things are normally spelter. It's an alloy. Yes. Between yes. bronze yes. and lead. Well, I think right. you've got a lead for me, can you please? Opal? Underneath, no, underneath it is figures. Yeah. See how they're constructed for me. Okay. So, now, so they're sort of bolted on, are they? They're bolted on. So then you're looking for marks here. See, this is oh, shining right. through here. This, yeah. this is a bit of like a brassy colour where the bronze is worn shiny. Yes. And these like these, these look genuine old mm. nuts and bolts, which is nice. There's a lot of stuff gets copied now. These from China. You know, the market was quite good years ago for bronzes, but the Chinese have copied a lot of them. And we used right. to value them nowadays. You've got to be careful when you, you know if you purchase you these. Buy. Yeah. So. Um, it's not, I think, that, well, to me, that's nice. They're nice, genuine, untouched pieces, yes, family pieces, yes. which are yours, which, which, which I like about them. Um, the date of these, what, these, was it 18... Yeah. 76 was this, this chappy? Yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so... Before the turn of the century. OK. Just have a look at this. Just, you know, this, this sort of, it can be always just tells you what's... gives you an idea of what's going on in the world. Because things... It's not, but it's not a science, you know, whatever you see on no. these things, you can't always believe. No. Because things can be misbelieving. Misbelieving? Is that a word? Well, I understand what you mean. Misbelieving. Yeah. yeah I like that word, misbelieving. I'm, I'm misbelieving fairies. <laughs> I think like misbelieving. And I'm quite interested by this um, this uh, little signature here. Well, that, that'd be the artist mm. signed. You know, with, with the, the good ones, it's, it's sometimes it's a stamp mark as well somewhere. Is it a little round seal mark anywhere? I haven't seen that the foundry, so far. The foundry mark. Because this could be a copy. You know, it's a mm. signed signature. It's a, see, I don't like that. Because if you made this, it's a question mark, because if you made these bonds and signed them there, you wouldn't go and then put a foot over this, over this picture, would you? No. 
Oh, that's yeah. suspicious, that's is it? It's, it's something going on there, isn't it? I mean, this one is, is fine. Yeah. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't sign it and put your foot over it, would you? No, it's actually... Show me the upside down office. Okay. What's going on here? Let's have a look at the lizard boy. And this one has got a little sticker Rainbow. on afterwards yeah, saying yeah. Frankfurt, even yeah. though it's uh, yeah. from Paris. That's it. With bronzes as well, the good thing about bronzes, I will say, I don't understand the Frankfurt Paris bit, mm. but the good thing about bronzes is the colour sometimes. Yeah, Do you know what I mean? These ones, they've got nice genuine colour. Some people, they clean them. Mm. You know. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes, look at his eyes. What do you think of his eyes? Oh, they're very detailed, aren't they? Mm. With all the um, lizard skin as well. It's all in there. Mm. See, a lot of these bronzes, they were, they were copied even after. Mm. Yeah, there was copied, but genuinely, when it, it actually made in 1870, 1880, they're still copied after that as well. Mm. And they're called After. Um, what's his name? Pearl Laverne, the artist. After, so these these would be catalogued in auction yeah. as After Pearl Laverne. Mm. Even though they're probably of a certain age, probably a hundred years old, to not buy him himself by his hand. Because mm. he would have a seal mark on it, and he wouldn't be doing yeah. signatures and then putting his feet over it, would you? Probably not, although I say it, his feet are further apart. Yeah, but no, that not, used to, yeah, but not room. I looked underneath, it hasn't changed. If it, if it's changed, been changed underneath somewhere, I'd have gone, okay, you've had to change around here, something's been broken off at some stage. Mm. But it hasn't been. No. Do you know what I mean? So I'm just saying, yes. it's, it's not, I'm not knocking them. No, I just think they're, like, they're a very good copy of something that's but very old good copies, if you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah, not a Chinese 20th century copy, 21st century copy, but they're sort of, I think they're sort of 1900 copies of ones that were done in 1870. Mm -hmm. You know. Because also, we say, look, we, 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 we see one one day. We see a genuine, yeah. genuine <laughs> bronze with a seal mark on it, and they'll show you what you look for. We've got these seal marks on them from the foundry marks, then you know you've got a good bronze. You know, looking for them around there, we haven't found a um, what will, seal mark. What will the mark be? It's just around the mark like this, and it'd be like, it'd be saying the factory mark of the, of the bronze company. I can't remember the bronze foundry <coughs> of this particular <coughs> item, but there's no. famous bronze foundries out there that make these mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. so. so where does this leave Chris, then? I don't know, what do you think? I don't, you know, I'm, I'm on the other side of, mm. these are copies. Portion, yeah. These are, these are copies. Because they're a copy. They're not real. Maybe. So, I bet you get your mouth, get your mouth shut. <laughs> this is my money I'm spending here. <laughs> So what, what, and the, what do you think they're worth? I've no idea. Because they're risky. I'm hoping they're worth thousands. They're not worth thousands. <laughs> if they're as real, I'd say they're worth like, well, three, maybe four hundred pounds each <laughs> on a good day, if they're real. But my gut feelings they're not. Do you know what I mean? If there's something about them that ain't quite ringing true, where you've got this, no. this foot this over, the, over the signature I don't like, mm. you know. I'm not sure about, I'm just, I know it's good quality, but when you see real good quality bonds, it's just a crisp, better than ice. So, anyway, if I said to you, would you want, <coughs> bear in mind, the good, the bad, if I said to you, £300 a pair, what would you think? A pair. A pair. Doesn't sound enough. Doesn't sound enough? No. <laughs> okay. We've got to start something, haven't we? I need to make money. You need to keep as much as you can, or you pay make less as possible. I know that. <laughs> and I've got to pay, well, I've got to pay Laura some way. I've got Laura, sorry, Laura. Laura Opal. and Opal, <laughs> both of us. I've got to pay both his um, apprentices some money as well. Hmm. Any more? Show me the rest of the site. Is he haggling with you? I think he is. <laughs> you can buy something. Show me, show me the rest of the site, please. Okay. The main site? Yeah, go back to the beginning yeah. where you put this from. Mm -hmm. Oh. That's fine. Find them again for me. Yeah. So, um, if you sit each, yeah, I think I'd lose money, to be honest with you. But, time, you know, by the time I try and sell them, you've got to try and. I tell I do, how about £400 or so? <coughs> what do you think? £500. <laughs> how about four twenty? Four fifty cash. Four fifty. I think, yeah. Then you'll both be happy. Sing us their imitations. Go on. Four fifty cash. Right. Thank you very much for that. Done. Thanks for coming along. It's all right. a smile on your face, isn't it? Exactly. Yes. I ain't too happy, mind you, Opal. <laughs> no, come on now. Should've been listening now, I think. But there we go. Wow. Well.